Hello and welcome to Pristis. I am the founder Renee Cody and today I'm going to show you where we are in our shop. Lighting is not the greatest, but here we go. Let's turn on the lights. The lights are on. Oh good, you guys can see things now. Over here, this is a black chalkboard wall. I'm going to stand kind of far so you can see it in entirety. Our strollers will go up against there and we'll be able to write things about the strollers above it, like uh, the Founders Choice Stroller versus the All-in-One Duna Stroller for people to try. And then above it, we're going to have a nice, big, huge, long shelf board where we'll have other accessories of gear, like car seats that go with the strollers for travel systems. I'll probably put the Nuna Cuddle up there. And over there in the very corner, right there, I'm carving out a little space for the Nuna Sena Air Mini to go, so people can check that out with the organic cotton play yard sheet. Gorgeous! There's my daughter. <laughs> you can check out her out on her channel, Sephora Christine. Behind me now, as we walk into the shop more, is the gigantic window, and I am obsessed with window displays. This is one of the reasons that we picked this particular shop, so that I can make different window displays, kind of like inspired by Fifth Avenue in New York. I love the Tiffany's windows displays and all of the Fifth Avenue displays around wintertime. So we're gonna be doing stuff like that, like crazy eventually. And then these are our children's clothing racks. We only have two of them in right now, but they are children's sizes and we have branded wooden hangers to hold the clothing on. Super soft clothing. The walls are Christus blue. And one of the reasons I chose to do the walls that color and this wall black and the ceilings are also black is because most of the baby products are white or really light colors. And so I wanted the clothing here to really stand out and pop and be absolutely beautiful. So the cash wrap and the table will also probably be white. So one of the reasons that I have this so low, and you probably can't see how low it is, but it goes up to kind of like my waist here instead of being the usual clothing height is because above it, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but above it, I'm going to have lights actually hanging down from the ceiling. So the lights will be above the clothing racks and the lights will have movable spotlights on them so that I can move some of the spotlights down to the clothing, but also to the strollers to spotlight the strollers. And then over there on this side, I have a bunch of shelves. Um, I think I got them from Wayfair or something because we were running out of our budget. So the shelves will go up here. I'm gonna try to pull back a little bit so that you can kind of see the full thing there. Um, those are some of the lights that are going up. And we're also, next to the window, going to have more lights above it so that it can spotlight on products in the window as well. And then over here, behind me, there, so you can kind of see the full picture. Back in that corner is gonna be storage. So we're gonna have probably a large wardrobe right here and probably like a seat here, like a bench underneath here to sit on, probably with more storage. And then up here will probably be the cash wrap or the person will check people out. And then back here, because it is a mommy shop, the all important bathroom. So I'll open it up. <laughs> it's dirty, it was just done and all of the supplies are in it right now. But you can see we have the bathroom sign to be hung and inside it is also blue the toilet all the things the sink there you go and safety handle rails and all of that i was really grateful that my landlord kind of knew what was needed for the town inspectors like i needed a ramp like this which i got to pick out the carpet color to go with our floors our floors are these beautiful hardwood gray grain boards. And one of the reasons that I chose them is because the wheels on the stroller, I knew it would be a really like luxe experience for a mom 
to experience one of these strollers on this wood floor and it's pretty. <laughs> Let's not lie, that's really important too. And just recently we installed a security system. We got, finally got the heat and air and we have the Wi-Fi going. So we are pretty much done except for the lighting. As soon as the lighting is in, we'll be able to put up the products, the shelves, and hire somebody and put her in the the nanny apron that you guys see me in every week. I'm really excited about that, but uh, I don't dare hire her until we're closer to opening. Then we'll pick a grand opening date and we will tell all of you about it so that you can know when it is. And if you are anywhere near Connecticut, you will totally be invited to our grand opening. And if you know me at all, that's probably the only time anyone will ever see me alive and not think that I'm just a myth. So we've started this, I think we signed the papers early September and we've been paying rent on it. We were total suckers. We didn't, we were newbies, so we didn't really know what we were getting into and we should have asked for six months rent free up front, but we didn't, but that's okay. Now it's February, so it's been five months and it's still not ready, but with COVID and everything, we're not too concerned about it. We were kind of also hoping that the COVID thing would run out, <laughs> which sounds really weird, but I thought two weeks to slow the curve. So I thought if I just wait a little longer, then maybe we don't have to prep the shop for covid -y things and get like a branded mask for the nanny. But it looks like we're gonna have to do all of those things anyway, since Biden just made a statement that we'll all probably wear, be wearing masks for another year. So we're definitely starting to make preparations accordingly so that we can open anyway. And I asked the local Facebook groups, or I told them, I promised them we would open sometime in 2021. So even if it's December 31st, 2021, we will definitely open. So there it is. All right, don't forget to give this video a like. Remember, each like helps me more than you know. I am the founder, Renee Cody, and you can check out my shop online at pristis.com until the grand opening of the local brick and mortar shop.